Welcome back everyone, this is Ben from the Gaming Master with some more Animal Crossing New Leaf. Alright, so if you guys missed the previous episode, definitely go check that out. Uh, but anyway, what we actually did was we actually paid off the second floor museum finally. So that is now open. So in the second floor museum, I believe you have like a gift shop area uh, with uh, an owl named Celeste. And then you also have four display rooms that you can kind of decorate, uh, which is super cool. So we'll definitely make sure to check that out. Also, on the previous episode, we actually did not get to go shopping and f see all the Christmas stuff, but today the shop should be open, so hopefully we can do that. But first, we have some mail, so let's go ahead and see what we have here. So it looks like we have two letters that we have not read, okay. So the first one says, Dear Ben, thank you for using your postal savings account. This letter is to inform me that you have earned a total of 420 bells in interest. Okay, cool. And then this one is from Luca. Dearest Ben, since I was born a while ago on uh, December 12th, I'll be throwing a party at my house and I really want you to come. You wouldn't deny my one birthday wish, would you? Excitedly yours, Luca. Okay, cool. So I guess we'll have to play on the 12th to celebrate Luca's birthday. That'll be cool. Uh, but yeah, those were our new letters for the day. Uh, oh, what's up, Molly? Apparently she wants to talk. What do you got? Hi, Ben. I'm glad I ran into you because I wanted to tell you this in person. It may seem sudden, but I'll be moving away on the 8th of this month. Don't get the wrong idea. This is a great town to live in. I just need to experience new places. It's just something I need to do for myself. You understand, don't you? Um, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Like I said, here's the thing. Here's my thought process. I keep having villagers move away because I'm like, surely we'll have some better villagers, right? But that has not necessarily been the case. I mean, I'm not super attached to Molly, but she is nice. No, she's pretty nice. I don't know if she should be the one to move first, so we'll keep her. Hmm, come to think of it, there might not be another town as great as this one. I was about to make a big decision b based on a whim. Thanks so much for making me reconsider. No problem. Yeah, Molly's pretty nice. I don't really have a problem with her. So, we'll keep her for now. Okay, let me get my shovel out. Let's actually... Oh my god, that was terrible. <laughs> Got that fossil. I always forget your name. What is it? Eunice, that's right. Oh my, long time to see. Have you been doing well? It's been so long since we last spoke that I thought maybe you took a vacation. Okay, I feel like we talked not that long ago, but okay. Hi, Ben. What's going on, Lamb Chop? Talk to me. Ben, how are you at fishing? I was talking to Luca about fish, and I started thinking about how much I want one of my own. I'd love to have a river fish. Any kind would do. Would you please catch one for me? Sure, if... If it's literally not specific at all and it's just a river fish, then that actually sounds like a reasonable request. Bones, what's going on with you, man? Okay, let's actually talk now about that. Um, I'm bored. Oh, are you going fishing or something? Whenever I fish, I get so sleepy. Yeah, and all the fish end up getting away, but at least I get to take a nap, yep yep. Okay, so any river fish will do for Eunice, okay. So you'd think it's a reasonable request, but the only problem is knowing my luck. No fish will spawn in the river. Oh, excuse me. Perhaps I spoke to you soon. Because this little fish is right here. Let's see if we can catch this. Oh, perfect. Well, that didn't take long at all, now, did it? The heck is that? Rainbow trout? Oh no, pond smell. Of course it's new. <laughs> Hold up, we, we'll catch a different fish so we can donate that to the museum. We'll catch this. Oh my gosh, everything is on first bite right now. This is lovely. A black bass? Okay, guess Eunice can have that, why not? Is there anything happening in town today? Lovely! <laughs> Red's in town. Wonderful. Alright, well, I guess we gotta pull up that painting guy, don't we? Alright. While I walk in here, I'm gonna Google ANCL painting guide. Sorry if you can hear my keyboard. <laughs> We're not getting scammed, though. Alright. 
have my guide open. We're gonna go through this. Okay, well, I'm rather pleased to see you back again. Yeah, as long as you don't write me off, it's a pleasure to see you too, Red. Alright, so first off, we got this then, right? Okay. Sorry, I'll have to look for this really quickly. So, we're this is a painting. So, paintings... Just gotta find it on my guide here, sorry. Wait, why is it not showing up here? Did I skip past it? <laughs> sorry. Uh, oh, here it is. Okay. So, according to this guide, it says, If the portrait's nose is made out of a carrot and the leaves are hanging, it is fake. If the nose is made of a green vegetable, it is genuine. So, it looks like the nose is made out of a carrot. So, th this painting right here, this is fake. Okay. Is there any other paintings or is it just statues? Just statues, okay. So, now we have this lovely statue here. If I can get that into frame. Perfect. Now, I will find this one. So, the painting was fake. So, now we'll try to find this one. Okay, so it says... If the statue has bat-like wings, it is fake. If it has angel-like wings, it is genuine. Okay, so that is a fake statue. Okay. Now we move on to this lovely thing over here. Let me find it really quickly. Okay. If his palm is completely flat, it is fake. If the tips of his fingers are curling upward, it is genuine. It looks flat, yeah. I think that's fake. Okay, that's fake too, so theoretically this should be the real one. Okay, so if there's only one boy under the wolf, it is fake. If there are two boys, it is genuine. And as we can see, there's two boys, therefore this is the real one. Whoa, I see you've got your eyes only for that uh, motherly statue there. I'd say it has eyes for you too. I must say, that's quite amazing. So between you and me, I'm selling it for just 3920 bells. This time and this time only. Who do you think you want it? Yes, because it is the only real one. Okay, so hopefully we get that through the mail. I'm pretty confident with that one. Yeah, that's definitely the real one, so that's awesome. We actually have a good streak here, not getting scammed. Having that painting guide up on my screen is literally the most genius thing I've ever done. You guys remember those older episodes where I used to get scammed every time I went to your eyes? No, no, no. Those are... <laughs> those days are long gone. I'm a pro now. Okay. Just trying to find the money. Oh. What is that? I remember we were trying to catch that on a previous episode, but we missed. Oh my god. Oh, it disappeared. <laughs> I guess we'll never know what that is, huh? Interesting. Okay. Maybe this is the money rock. I don't know. Oh, Charlize is here. That's it. Oh my god, why could I not take my holes? There we go. Oh, Come on, man. Okay, where is Charlize? Get over here. Oh! Oh god, that's not what I meant to do. Oh my god, can I talk to her? Thank you. Jeez. Jeez Louise. Okay, talk to me. Actually, talk to me, though. B-Man, I'm seeing you a lot today. Subscribe. When I was little, I would always watch sporting events on TV on Toy Day. Bowling matches or the big ice skating tournament. Stuff like that. That's probably why I always get real interested in what's on TV this time of year. Subscribe. So, um, is it true that Jinko rides home on the train? I've never seen that before, but I'm gonna try not to miss it this year, subscribe. Oh, I thought she'd tell me what she wants for Christmas. Really? I got tricked so hard there? Alright, where is this money rock? Money rock is where... Isn't there a rock over here? Yeah. Let's try this one. Oh, that one has, like, berries on it. That's kind of cool. It kind of bothers me that they don't all match. 
Oh, get this out of here. This is gonna... Oh, thank... Oh, my God. Thank the Lord that was not a money rock. I was trying to dig up the flowers. They were spawning in the way of the rock. Bro, thank the Lord that was not the money rock. Oh, no. Oh, wait. Whoa, hold up. This is the fake rock. That is absolutely fake. Gold nugget. That's kind of cool. Okay, this says, Thanks to everyone's generosity, Kenobi's Museum now has exhibit rooms on the second floor. Please visit and check them out for yourself. Okay, cool. Surely this isn't the rock, is it? I have a bad feeling. Of course. <laughs> oh, why, dude? Why, do they, why does there have to be a rock right smack dab in the middle of my yard? How lame is that? Seriously. Unbelievable, dude. Oh, you know another thing that we, you know another thing we could do? Come here. Now that we completed that museum, we can actually have a celebration and then set up a new public works project. I think that'll be kind of cool. Do 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 do. Oh, Mayor, I just remembered. The townsfolk would like to hold a ceremony to celebrate completing the museum renovation project. And considering you're the one who made it all this possible, we want you to attend. What do you say? I would be happy to, Isabel. Okay, perfect. We're holding it at the train station? <laughs> Why not actually on the museum? Okay, so this is Celeste, the owner of, like, the second floor. I think it's, like, Blather's sister or something like that? Ahem, hello, everyone. Welcome to the grand completion for... A grand completion ceremony for Kenobi's Vital Museum Renovation Project. Thank you for joining us for this momentous occasion. I'm Isabel, and I'll be your host today. Yeah. Thank you, thank you. You're too kind. We're going to keep this short and sweet, so let's jump right in. First up, we have an incredibly short speech from our very own mayor. Take it away, Mayor Ben. Hooray for everyone! <laughs> yeah. Well said, Mayor. You have quite a way with words. Okay, moving on. Everybody, please locate that item that we passed out earlier and get ready. And now, to celebrate the completion of this public works project and all the hard work that made this possible, ready, set, pop. Boom shakalaka. There we go. That concludes our ceremony. Thanks, everyone, for all of your hard work and for taking time out of your busy schedules to be here. All right. Thank you, Isabel. What's up, guys? Oh, look at me. Bones and me are twins. <laughs> Both got the shovel out. And then right as I said that, he puts it away. Great, now I'm twins with friggin' Eunice. <laughs> she, she has her... Are we like the shovel gang or something? Everyone had shovels out. That's weird. Is today like National Shovel Day or something? I don't know. All right, let's go in the museum. We can we have some stuff to donate, some fossils to assess, and then obviously we gotta check out the new museum. Okay. Who? Who? Oh dear, pardon me. Welcome to the Kennedy Museum. You can assess some fossils, and then we have some stuff to donate. Oh my goodness, dude! We forgot to give that fish to Eunice. I am a disgrace. Hold up, we'll do that, I promise. All of them are okay. That's fine, that's fine. Well, we have some stuff to donate, so that's fine. <laughs> I like Blather's bow tie. I don't even know if I ever noticed that before, but he is wearing a bow tie. Pond smelt, okay. Alright, perfect. Thank you, Blathers. Okie dokie, let's go check out the second floor museum now. Alright, perfect. So, this is Celeste here. Let's actually say hello to Celeste. That's right, and we can actually start getting silver items, which is awesome. So, you get some of the silver items from the... Uh, second floor museum shop. Like, on, to on the top of my head, you get the bug net, you get the fishing rod, you get the shovel. 
The silver slingshot, I believe you find in the air. That being said, with the gold one as well. And then, yeah, for the golden tools, you actually have to... So, for, like, the net and the fishing rod, you have to complete your encyclopedia and talk to either Chip or Nat during the bug-off or fishing journey. And then you get, like, the shovel and the axe from the TNT Emporium after buying, like, fertilizer and bushes and stuff like that. But, yeah, we can absolutely get the silver net here, which we'll definitely do. Alright, wake up, Celeste. Oh, dear. I do beg in your pardon, or I do beg your pardon, I was just resting my eyes. So, um, welcome to Kenobi's personal exhibit and gift shop floor. Thanks to you, this floor is newly opened. We thank you very much for all of your support. By the way, Ben, this is your first time you've seen this floor, is that right? If you have the time, I'd like to briefly explain about this floor. Would, would you like to listen now? Sure. Citizens of this town can use any exhibit room on this floor as they see fit for a display. We run personal exhibit spaces for a fair price, so please let me know if you want to use them. You can decorate the rooms in the same way you would decorate your very own home. If you use the locker next to the staircase, you can easily grab items from home to use in the exhibit. You can also store any items you may be carrying, so it makes things very convenient. Ben, I hope you enjoy crafting a lot of unique displays. That is all I have to say about the personal exhibit spaces. Also, I see er, also I sell souvenirs here in the hall, so come by often. Plus, I stock commemorative goods when the collections downstairs get large enough. Watch for those. Alright, cool. So, obviously, we're going to buy the silver net. Oh, so this was a reward for catching 30 bugs or donating 30 bugs or something like that? That's cool. So, yeah, this is Celeste. Awesome. So, we got that silver net now. Wonderful. It's kind of cool that we get some silver items now. About time. Alright, let's go ahead and head on into the... How much space do I have? Okay. Let's head into TIY. Why not? Alright, TIY, what do you got for me today? Hopefully we have some good stuff. That would be awesome. Oh, a guitar. That's kind of cool. Alright, what do we got for Christmas things? We have this thing. Okay. A holiday candle. You know what? It's a Christmas item, so we're going to buy it. Absolutely. A folk guitar. Perfect. Alright, let's get that fortune cookie. You know me. Oh god, let me take a screenshot, sorry. Okay. So you open that fortune cookie. There's a fortune inside, let's see. Garlic is not a substitute for personal hygiene. That sounds like a dead. I, I cannot lie. Party popper, sure. Yeah, that sounds like a big old dud to me. I'm just checking for, like, the holiday stuff. Jingle wall, perfect. I'm glad I checked. What do you mean I'm carrying a great many things? <laughs> what do you mean? No, not wrapping paper. Good god, okay. <laughs> Sorry, I don't know what's going on. Um. Okay, never do this, but for the sake of space, I'm gonna sell stuff to him. This is a strong warning, though. Never do this if you're playing. I'm just doing it for the sake of the episode. Because we could have made so much more money at retail. But for the sake of timing, I had to do that. But never do that. Ever. <laughs> I warn you. But for the sake of timing, I had to. Alright. Jingle floor, maybe? No, not astro floor. Get out of here. Jingle floor, please. Sleek carpet. Actually, that's kind of cool, too. Because I'm collecting sleek stuff. Okay, fine. Get your butt over here, though. Got some stuff to sell to you. Got a lucky ticket, buddy. 
Fortune 44, let's do it. The Bad Bear's Stash, okay. Well, we got Warrior's Mustache, or Mustache, I guess. What does that even look like? Warrior's Mustache, let's put it on. Boom. <laughs> That's funny, it even has, like, his nose. Alright, it's kind of cool. Oh, I guess that actually was new then, wasn't it? I thought it was going to be, uh... A dead, but I guess it wasn't. Always a welcome surprise, of course. Alright, let's hop into Abel's. Hopefully they have some Santa items, because we need to collect those. Okay. The one and only Abel sisters. What do we got in here? Those kind of look like Christmas pants. I'll buy them. Bro. <laughs> of course I have no space. So hopefully like the hat or beard is in here. Which it probably will be because I don't have enough space. Yep, there's the Santa hat. <laughs> Called it. Let's go. Oh, you know what we can do? 200 IQ. Oh, wait, no, I have no space. <laughs> uh, not 200 IQ. We're gonna have to ditch this pot party popper, I think. That was a complete waste of money, wasn't it? Oh, wait, I can wear glasses and a hat at the same time. I'm dumb. Don't even ask me. I can absolutely wear the hat with glasses. I'm not smart, okay? Santa hat. Boom. Not today, but maybe on a on a future episode, maybe we could actually make like a Christmas sweater or something. In uh, what you call it? Able Sisters, like a custom design or something. That'd be kind of cool. I think that would be pretty neat. Alright, we gotta go find Eunice really quickly because she did ask for a river fish and we did catch her for her, so. Please be like right here. Oh, bless you, Eunice. Bless you. Why is like everyone right here? This is so weird. Hi, Ben. It looks like we're both feeling extra cheerful this morning, Lamb Chop. So, what's on your mind? I caught something for you. I actually caught you a black bass. Enjoy. Oh, thanks so much for this black bass. I knew you were good at fishing, Ben. Oh, please allow me to thank you with this. A shirt? What kind of shirt? It's a noodle tea, okay. No problem, Eunice. Thank you very much. Alright, well, ladies and gentlemen, I think that is going to be it for today's episode. Uh, actually, let's pull out that silver net really quick to show it off. Or not. Where is it? Yeah, there it is. Alright, awesome. So, that is going to be it for today's episode, so I do want to thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoy, make sure to click on that like button, don't forget to subscribe for more Animal Crossing New Leaf. I'll talk to you guys on the next one. Thank you guys so much for watching, and have a good rest of your day.